Hello, welcome to the channel. How are you doing? Hi, I'm Yamasawa. Please do well to subscribe to the channel, please. Today, we are moving on to partial fraction. Partial fraction. Please, there are two things I want you to note under partial fraction. It's one of the simplest topics in mathematics. But there are two methods of solving our partial fraction. We have the cover-up method and the elimination method. For elimination method, that's what we want to do now. Along the line, we move on to cover up method, but not in this class now. Subsequent video, we move on to solving through cover up method. Let's now move on to elimination method. How do you solve a question like this? We we were said we are told to resolve partially. Five x minus three divided by two x, then x plus three. How do we solve it? When we are talking of partial partial fraction you know that something like this is a fraction if i give you 5 over 7 this is a fraction it's a fraction 5 over 7 is a fraction now we now want to split this into two you know it can as well be 2 over 7 plus 3 over 7 is still 5 over 7 you are splitting it hope you are getting it can, it can as well be 6 over 7 minus 1 over 7 is still 5 over 7 that is partial fraction your fraction you are dividing it now look at this question you have 5x minus 3 divided by x minus 2 x plus 3 the first method on the elimination method the first method in your partial fraction is let's split as the method so we have 5x minus 3 over x minus 2 x plus 3 equal to now to split it now we have first bracket second bracket and the power of your x is 1 along the line you understand this we have a, we are going to use a to represent the first one over x minus 2 plus the second will be b over x plus 3. Based on this bracket, we are splitting it. The first one we have a because it's having power of 1. I want you to note that because we are still moving on to the one that has power of 2, power of 3, and so on. But because it's having power of 1, that's why it's only having a up. This one, your x here is also having power of 1, that's why it's only having b. Now, don't forget to say elimination method. Now, by the time you are now solving something like this, it's just like, we call it butterfly method. As if you are bringing this one here, as if you are cross multiplying, you are cross multiplying. Straight, straightforward. Just write 5x minus 3, because I don't want to bore you with. The long explanation just bring this one here see we are cross multiplying that's x plus 3 plus bring this one here b into bracket x minus 2 just do it straight away it's as simple as that just bring this one here bring this one here and equate it to this now they're not talking of elimination method this way we're not going to use an elimination method look at the first bracket we have x plus 3 the second is x minus 2 i want to we are going to eliminate the bracket one after the other Therefore, the first bracket, I'm going to eliminate it. For this one to be equal to zero, that's eliminate to remove something completely. So each of these brackets will be equal to zero. So how is this one now going to be equal to zero? Now, right, we have x plus three. You write it somewhere. X plus three, you equal it to zero. So x equal to minus three. It means I'm going to say when x equal to minus three because you know by the time you put your minus three here, this will disappear. So that's now that is you are now going to use your x anyway. You see your x here. That is now 5 into bracket. Your x is minus 3 minus 3 equal to a into bracket minus 3 plus 3 plus b into bracket. Your x we said we are using minus 3 minus 3 minus 2. Let's move on. Notice this one minus 3 plus 3 is already 0. It's a cancel your a, it has been eliminated. Now we are now up here minus. 5 times that's minus 15 minus 15 minus 3 that's minus 18 equal to let's move on to this minus 3 minus 2 that's minus 5 minus 5b now divide both side by minus 5 by minus 5 minus cancel minus two b equal to 18 over 5 that's for your first bracket for your first one don't, don't forget to eliminate this first bracket here by equating this to zero. Let's also do for b. We have b. We have x minus two. You also equate to zero. So x equal to two. By the time your minus one says you now also say when 
x equal to 2. So also put your 2 here as 5 into bracket 2 minus 3 equal to a into bracket 2 plus 3 plus b into bracket 2 minus 2. I hope you are getting it. It's as simple as that. Straightforward. That's elimination method. We still have cover up method, but not in this, like I said earlier on, not in this lesson. Yes, you can also well, as well use cover up method to solve this. Oh, you get your answer. Now let's now move on. 5 times 2, that is now going to be 10, 10 minus 3, which is 7, equal to 2 plus 3, that's 5a. Because 2 minus 2, that's 0. So you now divide both sides by 5, by 5. Therefore, your a equal to 7 over 5. You must now return it. You have gotten our a. Our a is 7 over 5. Our b is 18 over 5. You now return it back to where you started. You set your a and b. That was what we used to represent. And that was what we were looking for. And now our a is 7 over 5. And our b is 18 over 5. Let's now return it. So now 5x minus 3 over x minus 2 x plus 3 equal to this is our a our a is 7 over 5 bring this one down x minus 2 then plus what's our b 18 over 5 into bracket x plus 3 it's as simple as that that's partial fraction partial fraction by the time you solve this one separate you, you are going to get it you are going to get this one eventually by the time you solve it this is what you, you are going to get that is you have resolved this one partially you have split it so by the time you split it you are going to have this first one and second one and that's all it's as simple as that partial fraction like i told you you can use elimination or cover up method and these are elimination method it's as simple as that just separate the denominator your a -A, your b -A, cross multiply and use just equate this one to zero Put it here, likewise this one, equate to zero, and you put it there. And that's all, it's as simple as that. Please, I would like you to just try and attempt this. Try and attempt it. 6x plus 1 divided by x plus 2, x minus 3. Just try and attempt it. And please, submit your answer in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourself. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye.